welcome today we're gonna do a skin fade and also we're gonna do a line with the straight razor we're gonna start the haircut we're gonna start using number four on the third lateral section we are only gonna level this area because we're gonna maintain the length on top use number three a bit lower than we use number four Use the one and a half a bit lower than we use number three. We are making a mid skin fade. As you can see, the hair is pretty short. We are only cleaning the area to make the line. Continue with the one and a half all the way to the back. Open the blade to use the 0.5 or half and make the line. Close the blade to use number zero and use it a bit lower than we use the 0.5 or half. The rest of the hair on the bottom we cut it using the trimmer. We're gonna use number one with an open blade and we're gonna open a way that we're gonna blend with the one and a half and also keep in consideration that we're gonna use number one with a closed blade and also we're gonna use the 0.5 or half. Use number one with a closed blade and you're gonna stretch the scalp to change the angle the hair grows this way you can cut shorter and also you can cut with more precision. This is the most important step of the cut. Open the blade to use the 0.5 or half using the border of the clipper's blade and cut from left to right, only clearing the darker areas. I didn't edit the video too much in this area and I also make a close-up so you can see in detail the process using this technique. Close the blade to use number zero and go back and continue clearing the darker areas using the border of the machine. As you can see in the close-up, I'm only using the border of the machine clearing the darker areas. The less you rush, the faster you finish. Use the shaver a bit lower than we use the trimmer. Don't bring the shaver too high so you don't make a line.
use the trimmer to blend the line if you make one with the shaver. Continue with the right side, we're gonna use number four on the third lateral section and we are only using it as a guide. Use number three a bit lower than we use number four. Use number two a bit lower than we use number three. Use the one and a half a bit lower than we use number two. With this guard I'm trying to blend and erase the previous line. We're gonna make the line a bit lower than it was before. We're gonna make the line open the blade to use the 0.5 or half. Close the blade to use number zero and use it a bit lower than we use the 0.5 or half. The rest of the hair on the bottom cut it using the trimmer. Use number one with an open blade so you can make a way and blend it with the one and a half and also keep in consideration that we're gonna use number one with a closed blade and also we're gonna use the 0.5 or half to blend the line. Use number one with a closed blade and stretch the scalp so you can change the angle the hair grows. This way you can cut with more precision and also you can cut shorter. This is the most important step of the cut. Open the blade to use the 0.5 or half and we're gonna blend from right to left, only clearing the darker areas using the border of the clipper's blade. I'm using this close-up so you can see with precision the process and progress using this technique. Close the blade to use number zero and go back and continue blending the rest of the darker areas close to the line. As you can see, I'm using the clipper in a diagonal position, using the border of the clipper's blade. You can use the right border or the left border depending on the way the hair grows. Use the shaver a bit lower than we use the trimmer, using the border of the machine, cut from right to left.
blend the line with the trimmer if you make one with the shaver. We're gonna make the tape on the front. We're gonna use the trimmer, protect the longer hair with the comb and make the line with the trimmer. You can use the trimmer in a diagonal position and also in a vertical position. We're gonna make the line. I'm only letting the trimmer fall softly on top of the line. We are only opening a way that later we're gonna shave with the straight razor. You can use this part of the comb to give it a support and also you can trap the hair away from the skin to make a straight cut. We're gonna do the shave, we're gonna use the straight razor and we're gonna start shaving in the middle. We're gonna use this part of the straight razor and we're gonna shave from left to right. This is the part of the straight razor that you can have more control. That's why I prefer to shave from left to right in this area. As you can see, I'm opening away with the part of the straight razor that is close to my fingers. We also make the tape of the front on the left side. The top we did it with scissor. We are not gonna cut much. We're gonna maintain the length. We are only cutting if we see a hair out of place. We also use the texturizing scissors to reduce the volume and also add some texture. We did two cuts going up. In this case, we use cream with a natural hole and shine. This is the final result. This was a skin fade and also we did the line with the straight razor. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. These are some of my previous videos, I invite you to watch them, if you like them hit the like button, share and subscribe.